Welcome to the interview, Joseph. Can you introduce yourself really quickly? Hello, my name is Joseph. I'm a second year U1 software engineering in the co-op program in the Faculty of Engineering. Uh, can you talk about your high school background? In high school, I, I did the, the French baccalaureate program and I took a specialty math physics, chemistry, and uh, math expert. Can you describe how your program is built? When you enter as a user, engineering program goes from four years and a half to five years. Some people do it in four. I will do it in five personally. The thing with my program compared to the other engineering program is that I have a co-op program. The co-op program is you have four uh, mandatory internships. Uh, three of, Usually you do three of them during the summer and one during the year. You will not do an academic uh, uh, semester, we'll just go and do an internship. Uh, beginning in U0, you'll take a lot of like science classes and maybe one coding classes. Then in U1, you'll take a lot of common classes with electrical and computer major, then uh, way less with electrical. And you have, a, you have a lot of common classes with computer engineering. Uh, also, the particularity of the co-op program is that it will have to be 12 to 16 week internship, 35 hours to 40 hours a week of work and you you will have to be paid at least minimum wage and it will have to be in an internship related to like the software engineering field it can be data science software development machine learning AI it can even be consultancy uh, etc and in the last year uh, usually in every engineering program uh, software included you will have to take a capstone project and the capstone is like an end of year project of that last two semester and also you'll have the ability to take more options for your last year classes because you have something called technical complementary classes you'll choose three classes from a specific list of uh, maybe 20 classes can you name one thing you like and one thing you dislike about your major so i really like the coding part the assignments etc they're really interesting however they can be really really time consuming sometimes and have to spend a lot of time off of it you can have you can be like overwhelmed by your assignments and uh, spend a lot of time at the library, which is not fun. And one thing I really dislike is maybe the cop. And one thing I really dislike is maybe the cop. It, even though it looks like an advantage, it's really stressful to find a cop because the advisors don't really help you. They give you some tips, etc., but they don't really help you in in finding jobs. It's all about you. Uh, for example, I applied to a hundred jobs, which is a lot. I only got one answer. So my key, my, my personal tips is to go with personal connections. Uh, talk to people around you, go to network events, but because this is the easier way to find internship. Can you talk about the load of homework? There's a lot of assignments, honestly. They can take some time, and the thing when you are, when there are midterms, it's really annoying because it's midterm season and as well you have all the assignments to manage, it's really hard, it's a lot of work. I also have group projects. For example, this semester I had two, in each of them we were six people, which is a lot. It was hard to manage. Uh, how I manage my work is that I try to prioritize maybe group works because uh, group works, uh, the thing is that you can get into trouble with other people in your group. So I would say it's really important to uh, prioritize them and work uh, on them as soon as possible because then you can work on your on your other assignments. If there is a specific class and I didn't really go to the lectures, I will catch them up before starting the assignment. Apart from coding, what kind of homework do you have? For example, I, ha I had a thermo, a thermo class, it's called like thermodynamics of computing. It was a lot of thermo related to like how many power does your computer use, etc. I also had a class called digital logic. It was a really interesting class. It was different from coding. You need to understand coding, but it was not really coding. It was like how circuits are built in a laptop, center, how information is sent, etc. You had to design circuits in la during labs. Could you give a piece of advice to a prospective student in your major? Okay, for my major, I would say uh, Build, first, build connections. It's really important to build connections in order to fa to facilitate the co-op and have and find more opportunities. Really talk to everyone around you, your friends, your roommates, your aunt, your dad, like just like everyone in in your family. Maybe they know. Oh yeah, I know this guy is working in a company in software. Maybe he's searching for an intern. So you don't necessarily know how. You don't need to know how to code before coming. Honestly, I, I barely knew how to code. I have friends that didn't even know how to code, not even the basics, and they're still making it. So the thing is that, however, uh, don't have high expectation about your grade. Maybe you zero, you zero is fine, you can have good grades, but in you other years, it will be harder. So, so be prepared mentally for this. Also, grades are not that important <laughs> in the end, so it's okay. What's the biggest regret you have study-wise? Not 
studying more in maybe my U0, I would say, because in U0, my classes were much more, they were harder than high school for sure, but they were not really time consuming and they were much easier than my engineering classes that I'm taking right now. Uh, do you find it hard to balance school and your social life? I would say yes, starting this year because I had a lot of works. It's really easy to go out of the beginning of the semester, then it gets actually hard because you have to manage uh, school, having a social life, improving your CV, <laughs> finding a co-op, improving your skills. So it's a lot to manage. So yes, I would say it's definitely hard. What do you plan on doing after this degree? Do you think you want to get another degree as well or are you going to be done? I don't know, to be honest. I'll see where it will go. I, I tr I'm trying to survive first. That's my <laughs> first goal. Then I will see. Why did you choose this program and why did you choose McGill? I'm a Canadian citizen. That's why I chose to go to McGill. I was like, tuition could be cheaper. I never lived in Canada, but I still have the Canadian citizenship. But like, why? Quebec because maybe it's more francophone, it has more a European influence. So that's why I chose Montreal. And why did I choose this major? Well, I was always into math, physics, like science, etc. I was really good at it. So I was like, I knew I wanted to go into engineering. I really didn't know which route it would have been electrical, computer, software, or mechanical. I was hesitating between one of them, but I still chose software. I was like, I did like a bit the coding part in high school. I, I, I really took a leap of faith. I was like, I would just try it. Do you have any regrets in your choice of major? I would say sometimes, I would, uh, just as I said, the co-op can be stressful. But other than this, I don't really have any regrets. I really like what I'm doing. In your opinion, was it hard to adjust to university life and classes? It wasn't too bad because I had the dorm transition, if you see what I mean. Because you go from living with your parents. Dorm, you gain some responsibilities, but not all of them. So it was not that bad, honestly. Okay, so you think... The dorms helped transitioning in that way yeah dorm is really nice to meet people i'll advise everyone to go into dorm if you cannot in the end it's not the end of the world you can still make friends but it's something i would advise to everyone and last question how is the overall vibe of your classes so i would say engineering people are really help each other i never some people can be competitive obviously you always find competitive people but like I don't find that many competitive people, everyone help each other, like people don't mind sending you assignments, help, etc. So like, I would say the vibe is really like we help each other and it's not really toxic. Yeah, but also the engineering faculty is the most cohesive out of everyone else's because they have a lot of say, events. Like yeah, yeah so they have a lot of stuff. In engineering, you have a lot of like clubs and events. For example, with Mert W, which stands for McGill Engineers Rule the World. So it's basically <laughs> yeah. also Frosh. Frosh, the engineering Frosh is a lot of people want to do it because it's really vibey. It's really like part of the engineering faculty. There's also E-Week, and there's also a lot of club to get involved. E-Week is basically the first week of January. It's a big drinking event. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much, Joseph, for the interview. That's it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>